Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art, and I just ran into some lady who said there was a uranium mining panel yesterday talking about the tailings and about how they remill, and it was talking about how filthy the uranium mining was. So I guess that's a start. That That's kind of a good thing, but nothing about the effects of it on our planet, but just about how filthy the uranium mining was. So that's probably a good thing. This sign's about ending nuclear, the silence of nuclear pollution. Like, five years of Fukushima, mm -hmm. there's nothing about the effects of it going on in the Pacific Ocean. We have dead animals. Yeah. I mean, the mass at This, on March 4th, 13 million salmon found dead. 13 million. And these are all the leaks. And in, in every one of these cities, and even on all of the native, uran all the native lands, yeah. we're having deformed babies and... You know, people, children born with genetic birth defects and cancer, leukemia. And this is only from nuclear waste sites, not yes. like coal mining. Well, like those old mining, you know, the old mining is the same thing like with uranium. Yeah. I was just talking about that because there was a uranium mining panel on the uranium mining. But even the panel, they don't talk about the negative effects on yeah. the human body and on our environment. It's not just bad for the environment. It's like... Uranium causes genetic defects that don't show up for three to four generations. Yeah. So it's super... Yeah, yeah, really bad. So, I don't know. I, I think that we really... I think this is our number one catastrophic issue of all the environmental catastrophes. Like, it's killing the Pacific. Fukushima is killing the Pacific. Yeah. And we're not doing... We're just going, wow, gee, they're killing us. I mean, nobody, nobody says anything. I mean, yeah. I just... It's in beyond comprehension to me. So I think that has, uh, I don't know, I feel very compelled, you know, to, yeah. like, try to change the culture and get people to, like, call their elect. Like, I know Ron Wyden completely sold out. I mean, he actually went to Fukushima three or four times, and then it was, he, they, he allowed it to be put under the Patriot, what I call the Unpatriot Act, so now they can't talk to us about it. Yeah. You can't ask them anything about it. I mean, we're importing food from Fukushima that is illegal to sell in Japan because it's too radiated. So we import food from Fukushima that's too radiated to sell in Japan. Do you know of any good websites? Let's see. Yeah, I mean, my, I have a radio show called The Age of Fission Radio Show, and I interview activists uh, about nuclear pollution. Mm -hmm. You can go to see Dr. Helen Caldicott's website. Go to e, &E News. That's the best one because e, e News is an energy news network, mm -hmm. and they pull together real articles, scientific journals and newspaper articles from around the world, mm -hmm. and it's just a composite of things that are going on, and it'll actually show you yeah. uh, Really, it's, an, it's a place where nobody goes, and they know that very few people even right. look at this. So, but it's it's actually, you can, and the links, the good thing about e, &E News, a lot of the articles have the original links to, like, the scientific mm -hmm. journals. Yeah. So you can actually find out for yourself instead of taking some writer's right. word for it. But, you know, yeah. still, you still get a lot of pro-nuclear articles through right. there because, you know, they're just gathering news articles. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, but that's a good place to go because it is actually super urgent that we, like, yeah. demand. This is why I say science is silence. We have scientists who can't talk. They are not allowed. I mean, I, this is what I can't believe with these people. When they, I called them up, I wanted to get a class action lawsuit going. I called it Mary Wood's office. And she's like, well, that's really, it's too far away. It's none of our business. I'm like, what are you talking about? They're killing the Pacific Ocean. And they like, have no interest, but, you know, yeah. I don't get it. I just don't get that. This is affecting you, yeah. even, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I heard this morning that, I, and I haven't looked it up, but I, I can believe it, that we've lost two-thirds of the animals, the mammal life, uh, worldwide since two, 1997. Oh, yeah, I believe that. Two-thirds? I mean, that's a lot. I do know that. You know, since this, since 2016 started, we've oh lost 87 whales worldwide already. That's the sad part. That breaks my heart, because when they go, we'll go, man. I don't know. Thank you. Bye-bye. So there you go. Had the camera running while we were talking.